presented by Hudson, makers of the largest selling household paper napkins in the world. Hudson requests the honor of your presence at the wedding of Miss Natalie Rachel Lippman and Mr. Stanley Howard Rubin. And I'm John Nelson bringing you another presentation of Bride and Groom. Today you'll meet a very attractive young girl who at the tender age of six thought she had lost the man of her dreams. Through a strange coincidence, she found him again in a photograph. Now, theirs is a romance as delightful as a fairy tale. And after we've heard them tell their story, we'll be guests at their wedding. And I don't want you to remi be reminded of the fact that all this is brought to you by my good friends, the makers of these wonderful Hudson paper napkins. Say, have you started using these wonderful napkins in your home yet? Well, let me tell you, they're really money savers and time savers. For instance, now, here's a good example. It's pop with a sandwich. Hmm, looks good, doesn't it? But, uh, hey, 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 wait a minute. Don't get cat to fall over that nice white shirt. Here, here's a Hudson table napkin. So white, so soft, so absorbent, it cleans in a jiffy. Say, you're right. Look at the job it did on my hands. And mothers, remember, clean hands mean clean clothes. And that means less laundry, less washing and ironing for you. Yes, Hudson table napkins save on laundry everywhere. Yet, for all their convenience, Hudson table napkins cost so little. Look, you can set a table for four people with one, two, three, four fresh white Hudson paper napkins. Actually, all four napkins cost you less than half this roll. Less than one cent. Start right away enjoying the convenience and the amazing economy of these wonderful napkins. Get some today at your grocer's. Eighty big napkins in this attractive pink and blue box. Remember... Hudson now sells any other make, whether old-fashioned cloth or paper napkins. Yes, get Hudson, the world's most popular napkin. And now, I'd like you to meet our lovely bride, Miss Natalie Rachel Lippman, and her bridegroom, Mr. Stanley Howard Rubin. And Natalie, let's get acquainted by hearing a little bit about you, please. Well, my residence is in Springfield Gardens on Long Island. I'm 23, and I'm the secretary with the Masonic Veterans Service. Mm -hmm. And now, Stan, what about you? from Long Island to Springfield Gardens. I'm 28 years old, and I went to overseas in the Sigma Corps in Europe for 18 months. Mm -hmm. I'm presently employed at the Gray Advertising Agency as an assistant printing buyer. Why now, tell me, just how did the romance begin, Natalie? Well, my cousin was overseas with the Sigma Corps in Europe during the last war. He sent a snapshot home of himself and his buddy. I remarked in my letter to him about his buddy, and uh, several weeks received a letter from this boy, Stan Rubin, who lived in our neighborhood. We corresponded for over a year, and then he came home. Stan, I imagine you were pretty anxious to meet this very pretty Natalie. Yes, I was. When I got home, I did uh, call her up and found she had a steady bow, so she didn't offer me much encouragement. Mm -hmm. I finally did uh, get to see her when some friend told me she was ill in the hospital. Oh, my. Well, he came to see me, brought me a box of candy, and a bouquet of red roses. Very thoughtful. And did that create the impression you wanted? Well, I'm afraid not, John. He was too ill to eat the candy, so I ate it, and <laughs> the flowers gave a rose fever. Oh, golly. Well, Stan, what did you think when you finally saw Natalie in person? I was surprised to see that she had grown up to be such a lovely girl. Mm -hmm. And Natalie, how did you feel about Stan? Well, he was just as I expected from his letters. He came to see me all the time I was ill. When I was better, he took me out on our first date. Uh -huh. What did you do on this first date? He went dancing, and I remarked that he was a wonderful dancer. He said this was due to the fact that he had gone to dancing school with a little boy. We compared notes, and uh, we were found out that we both went to the same dancing school. You mean you and Stan were friends as children, and you'd forgotten about it? Well, I knew him, but he didn't know me. Uh. He was 11, and he was a big man. I was a little girl. I was only six at the time. Uh, he moved out of the neighborhood, and out of my life, I thought, and I was heartbroken. Oh, my. <laughs> Would you say your first date was a success? Uh, oh, definitely. I liked him right away. Mm -hmm. Did you think he was pretty romantic? Well, he didn't rush me. He was very wonderful. And, uh... What did you do the first evening we said goodnight? Well, he shook hands the first evening. <laughs> <laughs> but he kissed me on our second date. All right. Stan, when did you realize you were beginning to fall in love with Natalie? I guess it was just after that first date, John. We knew that uh, someday, I believe, we would be married. Oh. Well, Natalie, do you remember, speaking of being married, what Stan said when he proposed? Well, Stan's men of action, but a few words. He didn't actually propose. He asked my mother if he could marry me. She consented. They chose an engagement ring, and together with his parents, they planned a surprise engagement party 
Which was exactly what I wanted. A surprise on you. Mm -hmm. Well, do you always agree with Stan's decision, Natalie? Well, uh, whatever Stan wants is what I want most. I'm willing to do anything he wants always. You know, strangely enough, that sounds like a recipe for a long, happy married life together. It's a wonderful love story, and I know you're going to be happy. Natalie, would you stand up? We'd all like to take a look at that lovely gown and the incident of the very lovely girl who's wearing it. Very beautiful. I'd like to meet your attendants also, if I may, please. John, this is my sister Muriel, my Hello, Muriel. Of honor. Mm -hmm. and this is my best man, Sheldon Bernhardt. Hello, Sheldon. Yes. Happy to know you. I have something for you. These beautiful keepsake matched wedding rings set to preserve the memory of this very precious moment. These keepsakes are yours to cherish as long as the wedding vows are just a day. Phil, yes. Phil Hanna, what's the name of the love song that Natalie and Stan have asked you to sing? Well, John, they've asked for a new song, one that's most appropriate for this occasion, The Promise of Our Wedding Day. Now, as our bride and groom and their attendants leave for the ceremony, Bill Hanna sings their love song. When I walk, I only walk with you. And when I talk, I talk of only you. Believe me, the little things will always be this way. I'll keep the promise of our wedding day. When you smile, you only smile for me. And when you talk, you talk of only me. Believe me, our love will last forever. We'll keep the promise of our wedding day. Stanley H. Rubin. Do you of your own free will and consent take Natalie R. Leakman to be your wife? Do you promise to love, honor, and cherish her throughout life? If so, answer yes. yes. Natalie R. Leakman, do you of your own free will and consent Take Stanley H. Rubin to be your husband, and do you promise to love, honor, and cherish him through life? If so, answer yes. yes. Stanley, you will place this ring upon her finger and repeat the words after me. Hare, Hare. At, At. Mekudeshes, Mekudeshes. Lee. But the boss, Zu, Kadash, Moshe, the Yisrael, which means that by means of that symbolic ring, is she consecrated unto you as your lawfully wedded wife, according to the law of Moses and the custom in Israel. And you will place this ring upon his finger and repeat the words after me. Behold, by this ring art thou consecrated unto me, as my lawfully wedded husband, according to the law of Moses and the custom in Israel. And now that you have spoken the words and performed the rites which unite your lives, I do hereby, in conformity with the faith of Israel and the laws of our state, declare your marriage to be valid and binding. And I pronounce you, Stanley H. Rubin, and you, Natalie R. Leakman, to be husband and wife before God and man. And may our Heavenly Father be nigh unto you and shelter you in all your ways. Yevorecha ko adonai v'yishmerecha Yoer Adonai Ponofe Lecho Vichuneko, Yiso Adonai Ponofe Lecho Vyosem Lecho Shalom. 
May God bless you and may he keep you. May God cause the light of his countenance to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May God lift up the light of his favor upon you and may he grant you peace. Our bride and groom, now Mr. and Mrs. Reuben, will return in just a moment with some wonderful gifts for them that I know you want to see. Right now, I'd like to remind you, however, that if your Halloween's only a few days away, and so if you're planning a Halloween party for yourself or for the kids, why not make your table center a flower piece jack-o'-lantern and serve Halloween rounds, black and white sandwiches made with cream cheese and olives, devil's food cupcakes decorated with gumdrops, and of course, Hudson rainbow napkins to make your table a riot of color. You get three gay colors in every box. Daffodil yellow, party pink as fresh and lovely as a rose, and misty green as delicate as any table green. You'll be amazed at the gaiety and charm these soft, colorful napkins make on your party table. So anytime you want to add a colorful note to your table, get economical Hudson rainbow napkins in the pink and blue box. They're at your grocer's today. That's Hudson rainbow napkins. And here come our bride and groom. Congratulations, Sam. Thank You're you. a lovely, lovely bride, Natalie. We some things we think you like to make your home a little nicer. We're going to start right out in the kitchen with a wonderful gift, this gleaming and shining new tap and gas range. Stan, you won't have to peek to see what's cooking because it has the famous window and the oven door and the tell you set time and temperature guide and many other exclusive tap and features. And for your table, a complete service of four and Gorham stirring silver. The green briar pattern which you've chosen is just one of the many elegant designs created by Gorham since 1831. You will always travel in style with this nationally famous Samsonite luggage. You'll find Samsonite is roomy and durable as well as ultra smart in appearance. And there's at least a hundred uses for this Sew Gem sewing machine which features Susie the right hand miracle stitcher. When friends admire your wardrobe and home accessories, you'll say thanks to Susie of Sew Gem. And over here, a full year supply of our sponsors four wonderful Hudson napkins. Hudson rainbow napkins to add four colorful notes or a colorful note to your table settings. Hudson guest napkins for extra special occasions. Hudson damask napkins for your dressiest parties and the famous Hudson table napkins to keep your family's clothes cleaner every day. All four Hudson paper napkins to dress up your table to cut down your work, Natalie. And here is a handsome Spartan 17-inch table model television set. And uh, it'll bring you many fine hours of entertainment because Spartan Stabilized Drift Lock Control assures the clearest, steadiest pictures you've ever seen. And we've also planned an exciting honeymoon for you, too. One that I just know you're going to enjoy and remember always. You'll drive in a luxurious four-door Pontiac Chieftain through the beautiful Catskill Mountains of New York to the Grossinger Hotel and Country Club, where you'll be guests of owner Jenny Grossinger. This fabulous 700-acre resort has an 18-hole golf course as well as a tremendous artificial ice skating rink, and there's an ice carnival every weekend, too. The world-famous slogan, Grossinger's Has Everything, becomes a reality there, with dancing, fishing, boating, riding, tennis, and many other diversions at your disposal. You'll enjoy hiking and driving through the surrounding Catskill Mountains resplendent in fall colors. I know you'll have a wonderfully happy honeymoon at Grossinger's, and as a matter of fact, it'll be a perfect spot to celebrate your wedding anniversaries in the years to come. Now it's time to say thank you for sharing the happiness of this wonderful day with us. You were just grand. Good luck for health, happiness, success, and a long, happy married life together. I know you'll have it. Be with you again in just a moment for a toast to our bride and groom. This is John Nelson now, inviting you to join us again on Tuesday over most of these CBS stations, and we'll hear the interesting true love story of a very attractive young couple from Alexandria, Virginia. It's a grand love story. Don't miss it. I know you'll like it. Bride and groom is presented by the makers of the four fine Hudson napkins. Hudson used by more people than any other paper napkin in the world. This is the CBS Television Network.